The year was 1518, and the city of Strasbourg, in modern-day France, was about to witness one of the most peculiar and enigmatic events in human history, the Dancing Plague of 1518. This bizarre occurrence would involve hundreds of people dancing uncontrollably in the streets, creating a spectacle that both fascinated and confounded the local population and the world for centuries to come. The outbreak begins. The origins of the dancing plague are still shrouded in mystery, but the outbreak is thought to have started in July of 1518 when a woman named Frau Trophia stepped out into the streets of Strasbourg and began to dance fervently. This would have been a strange sight on its own, but what made it truly remarkable was that Frau Trophia couldn't stop dancing. She danced for hours, and as the days passed, her compulsion to dance grew stronger. Soon, others in the city joined her in this bizarre dance marathon. The Spreading Hysteria Word of Frau Trophia's strange and uncontrollable dance spread like wildfire throughout Strasbourg. More and more people began to join in the frenzied dance, and within a week, hundreds of residents had succumbed to the compulsion to dance. The authorities, initially perplexed, began to worry as the dancing took on a life of its own. Some accounts suggest that dancers displayed signs of exhaustion, dehydration, and even injuries, but their obsession with dancing remained unrelenting. Theories and Explanations Historians and scholars have put forth numerous theories and explanations to understand the dancing plague of 1518. Some of these theories include Mass hysteria One prevailing theory is that the outbreak was a form of mass hysteria, also known as mass psychogenic illness. In times of great stress or hardship, a collective psychological phenomenon can occur, where individuals manifest physical symptoms due to their shared anxiety and fear. In this case, dancing could have been an outlet for the stress and turmoil of life in the 16th century. Ergot poisoning. Another theory points to ergot poisoning as a possible cause. Ergot is a fungus that can grow on rye and wheat, and when ingested, it can lead to hallucinations, muscle spasms, and other symptoms. If the people of Strasbourg were consuming contaminated grain, it could have induced the strange dancing behavior. Religious ecstasy. Some have suggested that religious fervor played a role in the dancing plague. Strasbourg was a deeply religious city, and the outbreak could have been seen as a form of religious ecstasy or a divine punishment for sins. Societal stressors. The 16th century was a period of great social and economic upheaval in Europe. Strasbourg was not immune to these challenges, and the dancing may have been a reaction to the stress and uncertainty of the times. The Authorities' Response The Strasbourg authorities initially attempted to control the situation by encouraging more dancing, believing that the dancers would eventually tire themselves out and recover. They even hired musicians to accompany the dancers, hoping that music would help alleviate their compulsion. However, as the numbers of dancers continued to swell, it became clear that this approach was not working. Eventually, the city council took a more punitive approach, banning music and forcibly removing dancers from the streets. The afflicted were taken to a shrine in the hopes that divine intervention would cure them. Unfortunately, the dancing plague persisted for several weeks, and it is estimated that between 50 and 400 people died during the course of the outbreak due to exhaustion, heart attacks, or other dance-related complications. The End of the Plague The dancing plague of 1518 finally began to subside in late August of that year, and by September, the epidemic had largely come to an end. Frau Trophia herself vanished from historical records, and the dancers gradually returned to their normal lives. The episode left Strasbourg bewildered and scarred, and it has since become a fascinating but perplexing chapter in history. Legacy and Cultural Impact 
The dancing plague of 1518 has left an enduring mark on popular culture and historical inquiry. It has been referenced in literature, music, and art, serving as a symbol of mass hysteria and the human capacity for inexplicable behavior. In the centuries that followed, similar instances of mass hysteria would be recorded, often drawing parallels to the events in Strasbourg. In conclusion, the dancing plague of 1518 remains one of the most bizarre and perplexing events in human history. Its exact cause may never be definitively determined, but it continues to captivate the imagination of historians, psychologists, and scholars, offering a glimpse into the complexity of human behavior and the mysteries of the human mind.